I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and be like, I have some grand vision for this video because I don't. I don't. I have no idea where this video is going to take me. These are things I should probably talk about with my therapist. But she doesn't know about games and the gaming industry. And I want to talk about this stuff that bothers me. And I figured I, I would just make a video on this. Because, yes, modern gaming sucks. Not all of it. There are good facets of modern gaming. You got your pretty graphics. You got your sometimes interesting games. But overall, modern gaming it, it kind of sucks, and I feel like a lot of people just downplay this. There's some other stuff I want to complain about as well. Maybe I'll make a coherent video. Probably won't. So sit down, strap in, strap on, and subscribe, because we're going to be complaining about things that bother me. So yesterday, Sunday, I'm working on a sponsored video for a single-player sci-fi open-world game that nobody's talking about. I haven't seen any marketing for this game. I guess I am the marketing for this game. And you know what? It's not a perfect game. It's not game of the year, but it's a damn fun game. Single player. You don't got to worry about online stuff and online servers being contingent. But nobody's talking about this game. Nobody even knows this game exists. Hell, I didn't know this game existed until they reached out to me. So I guess I'm the marketing team for it. But when I would take a little break from recording footage and working on the video from it, I would try to play try to play some Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection from Aspire. Now, yes, I made a video on this game. Yes, I do enjoy the game itself. It's classic Star Wars, fun stuff, classic iconic characters and classic locations. There's a bunch of different styles of combat that you can engage in. This game came out almost a week ago now and i didn't play i didn't get an early copy of the game all those reviewers that reviewed the game they reviewed the game on offline stuff and to me this is an online game an online game from 20 or 2004 and 2005 20 years ago okay 20 years ago and you know what the online servers are still messed up. If anything, I will say that the online servers today are worse than they were when I played the game on Tuesday and Wednesday and made my video. What are you doing, Aspire? What are you? Why do you exist? Because it feels like it's either going to be a home run with you or an absolute crapshoot with you. Like, Tomb Raider was, was mad good. But for some reason, I guess you put your F team on the online servers of this game... And you put out some generic statement like, oh, we hear your feedback and we're going to be working on things to improve the service. Why are you not working on this stuff all the time? Oh, RGT, you don't want to crunch them. You don't want to make them work extra if they have to do. You are the one who released the game in this state. You are the one who released the servers in this state that are getting worse by the day. I, I, I am of the mindset that the servers are getting worse by the day and it's not because people are playing it because people are dropping like flies for some reason the stability is just way worse with these servers than they were a week ago when this game came out when it was probably at its peak and people could look past that sort of stuff when it's at its peak because you're like okay you know a lot of people are checking out this game but no no the servers are getting worse sometimes you fall off the map you can't spawn you can only pick certain levels the the servers don't activate or whatever what the hell is this and then i'm like okay you know i'm all worked up over this i'm all worked up over a game that somehow ran better in, in 2005 online on the playstation 2 and xbox original online service than it does in the modern era never mind the fact that you had the dreamcast with games like unreal working fine never mind that but hey you know what it, it's cool it's cool. I'm going to play some WWE 2K24 with the homies. Another game that I made a video on. What did I say in that video? The online servers were still sus because it seems like they're using the same online infrastructure of WWE 2K23. And WWE 2K23's online system sucked. The lobby suck. Inviting your friends sucks. The stability sucks. The, the dropping of stuff sucked. It sucked in that game. And I, you would figure... You would figure once again, okay, when the game first came out, I got the early copy. I got the hundred dollar copy, and I made <laughs> I made Nate and uh, John Spawnwave buy it. So this is kind of my revenge on John for being a cheap ass and never paying me for anything. Um, 
I made them buy it so we could all play it together. And it was fine, you know? There was some issues here and there. But once again, much like Star Wars, I feel like this game has gotten substantially worse. Because at 9.30, I told Nate to get online and we were going to play. He didn't get on until 9.31. But he got on. So at 9.31, we start playing. Between 9.31 and 10.15 Eastern Time, we completed one match. One match. We're doing online stuff. 2v2, tornado tag, extreme rules. So it was me and Nate. We only needed two people in the other, in the lobby to fill out the lobby. And we completed one match. And I know what you're saying to yourself, RGT. It's just people quitting. It's just people quitting. You know, they're leaving mid-match because maybe you're roughing them up. But no, you're wrong. Because the one freaking match that we did complete is where one of the people quit. Everything else, server issue, lobby issue, server issue, lobby issue. We detected an issue with the, with, with the server. We detected an issue with the game. We completed one match in 45 minutes. Then stupid Spawn Wave gets on because he's done making his clickbait video for the day. Persona 6 on the Switch 2. Who cares? Who okay, cares? We don't even have the Switch 2 announced yet. Hate that, man. So he gets on. And between 10.15 and 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, we completed zero matches. And it wasn't because of people quitting. It was because of server issues. At this point in time, I quit. I said, you two can go to hell. This game can go to hell. I'm not playing it anymore. And I started playing some, some weird train sim that's on Xbox Game Pass. That's another thing. We're playing this game on Xbox. Xbox people ain't buying games. These servers should be immaculate. But no, they're absolute dog shit. So I started playing this train game. I couldn't figure it out. There's a lot of buttons and stuff like that. I'm not a train conductor. I'm a train rider. Come on, ride the train. It's a choo-choo train. All right, I'm not I'm not trying to conduct the train. And then when you actually got the train like working cuz I switched to like kids mode or something like that. Like the game sucked anyway. So I'm just annoyed. Then I get on Twitter this morning and you know, there's been this rhetoric surrounding, you know, the sweet baby ink stuff. I've talked about it. Some people don't want to do it. People people get mad at John. They're like, "Why isn't John talking? Why is Spawn we're talking about?" Cuz he doesn't have to talk about it. Nobody has to talk about anything if they don't want to. If they don't have a, a definitive stance or they don't have enough information. So get off his ass about that. There's a lot of things you could complain to John about, such as not giving me money. But that's not something you could complain about because like it's it's his prerogative. Don't tell someone how to run their channel. But the sweet baby ink thing the defense force still going it's still all the same industry people the the journalists the people that are at gdc for some reason who've never developed a game or, or anything like that all those people are still going up to bat for sweet baby ink and defending them with their life force for whatever reason but there's been an interesting discussion that popped up online about this whole thing and this is something that's been going on for a couple days now with a lot of people of the defense force saying that well if samus was revealed today in the modern 2024 to be a woman at the end of the game like she is in metroid on the nes people would call that woke and that's an interesting statement to make because you're essentially saying that anything with a female lead character is woke well i saw a very interesting uh tweet pop up on my uh timeline from a content creator named cassie cage I'm not super familiar with her um i'll have a link to her channel in the description box down below but it was a snippet of a video that she had made that um my buddy jack move johnny had retweeted and in this video she basically says the reason why people would have that scrutiny is because of what's been happening because of the lack of trust that a lot of people have with western developers because it doesn't feel genuine the, these things feel like they're changed from the original story on a whim just to add some little additional you know representation in it whereas japanese companies they don't really have that problem japanese companies do what they want they write stories that they want to you know, nobody said that Barrett, when Final Fantasy VII dropped, nobody was like, Barrett, it's a black man in this video game. And like, nobody cared. They were like, okay, cool. Who's this guy? What's his story? Oh, he's got a really interesting story. This is awesome. I love this guy. Nobody cared about the color of his skin. Like, that's the difference. Western developers have lost trust 
with people when it comes to just doing things to do things. Whereas Japanese developers, they don't have these sorts of things that exist that are outside forces that tell them to change something just to change it. They're allowed to tell the story that they want. So look at the scrutiny around Stellar Blade because there's some ass in the game. Now we don't like ass. We don't like ass. All y'all are out here eating ass, being proud of it, but, oh, ass in a video game. <laughs> That's too much for me. Like, don't play the game. Not everything is for you. Okay? We need to understand that. That's like card games in me. You know what? I'm not going to play a card game. Why? Because it's not for me. I don't like these games. I'm not going to review a card game and, and be like, oh, this game sucks. Well, why does it suck? Because I don't like card games. Like, that makes no sense. Not everything is for everyone. Stop trying to make it that way. Modern gaming sucks. You know? things were just so much easier in the 90s and, and the early 2000s like even up until like 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 the, the playstation 3 xbox 360 generation nobody cared about this nobody cared nobody cared but now you have worse online servers than from the xbox 360 era you have you have all this weird stuff happening just to happen where if you question it all of a sudden you're your public enemy number one you have these journalists with too much power and these websites with too much power influencing the video game industry the whole video game industry is run by one man freaking jeff Keeley, and everyone's turning their back on jeff Keeley, but they're sucking his nuts whenever he's like oh you guys want to come to summer game fest jeff Keeley, turn heel this is your Hollywood Hogan moment. You have peaked as the baby face. Nobody, nobody likes your baby face act anymore. I will be your Scott Hall. I have chest hair for days. I will be the bad guy. Hey, yo, Chico. Like, come on, bro. Come to the dark side. It's fun. We're normal. God damn, this video is all over the place. Oh, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I honestly feel a lot better now that I've gotten all of this off my chest. Um, it's kind of therapeutic. I feel good. I feel good. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you agree with me, cool. If you disagree with me, cool. Remember, I don't expect you to, to you know, go along with every single thing that I say. This is a very open channel for differentiating viewpoints and all that sort of stuff. So if you enjoyed it, hit subscribe if you're new. Like the video, dislike the video. I don't really care. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.